got time. <laughs> That's a coming. All right, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will. We're here in Key West, and we got a bit of a front coming. Not a hurricane quite yet, but something that looks just under a hurricane. So we're headed to the boat to tie it up. And here's the thing. Captain Greg and the Yankee Cap are coming in early from their fishing trip out in the Gulf. And I'm going to go down there and see if they got any fish parts that I can get because they're going to be pulling up right when we get there to tie up Aaron's boat. What did they go for? American Red Snapper. Yeah. Um, season just opened June 1st. The uh... <laughs> Federal for Hire. Federal for Hire season just opened up June 1st. It's a really, really short season. So people go absolutely nuts for this fish. And if you've ever seen them, they are a very pretty fish, almost like a mutton snapper, but all red. Very, very pretty white meat. Um, hopefully these guys are filleting and I can grab some collars, some heads, because we're also gonna need some food in the house to eat over the next couple days while we bunk up from the storm. You guys ready? I'm ready. This is a survival video. <laughs> this is a home, survi home survival video. All right, we'll see you down at the dock. <laughs> Guys, when we call your number, call your number back, please. Call your number back. Do not stand in front of your cooler. Stand behind your cooler, please, guys. What is it called? The game where it's like double dutch? No, the hop. It's like hop. No, not hop, hopscotch. Um, skip it. Skip it, maybe. <laughs> I don't remember. I feel like I played it when I was a kid. So they got to go through everyone's fish that was on the boat, and as you saw, there was a lot of fish in those totes. So we got some time. I'm gonna let them get settled in and then see if anyone's filleting. If they start filleting, go over there, grab some stuff. They just had a long trip, had to cut it short because of the weather. So I don't know if they're in the best mood. So I'm gonna really, really just be, you know, quiet and kind of go in there politely ask for fish. 29, four. 29. So Aaron secured his boat. We're still waiting. They're still divvying up fish over there. Um, because of the storm coming in, they might not fillet over there, which means there would be no collars or heads. But my pinch hitter over here had, uh, we went out the other day and actually kept one of the grouper. So if anything, we'll be cooking grouper collars tomorrow during the storm if uh, we don't get any red snapper from those guys. So we will have something. I'm hoping for red snapper, but we'll see. We'll see. Cool fish, guys. Cool fish. <laughs> Number two, we're set. I got a, I got a beer and a fish carcass. <laughs> ready to go. We're hurricane ready. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so this is our American Red Snapper. And like I said, it is a very short season and that's why people go absolutely, absolutely crazy for them. Recreationally, now Aaron's behind the camera so I can fact check as I'm talking. But recreationally, it just opens for like a weekend here and there. And you have two, two three days to get out there, smash them. And get back in. On what side, but yeah. So it really is people are chomping at the bit for the season to open. They get out there. This is a relatively small one. And as you saw that kid filleting, he did not leave much on this carcass to work for. But we're going to cook the whole rack. We got a small collar there, but we also have that grouper. So we'll do everything together. But I want to showcase this snapper most of all. Okay, so this guy, what we're going to focus on today is the collar. Um, also known as the throat or the neck, which is this piece here. And if you're new to the channel, what this piece really ends up being like is like a chicken thigh. It's encapsulated by cartilage and bone, so you really can't overcook them. 
it's a wonderful piece of meat that after you take the fillets off, like this fish here, usually gets thrown away back into the water or in the garbage. But we are going to take it off. And there is a little hinge right here that if you get your knife just behind it, you come up and then over and around. Now we have to cut all along this side here. So that piece is taken off and we'll do the same. <laughs> this knife is like, uh... <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> More so for breaking than it is cutting. There you go. So the same on the other side. You have the small hinge there. Or actually, let's cut this first. I did the other side so nicely. Of course, this one would probably be difficult. There is our collar. So I'm gonna clean this up and actually scale it. And we're gonna go roast this in the oven. I'm gonna keep it really simple this time. We're gonna do just salt, pepper, a little bit of oil and put it in the oven and then we'll make a nice side to go with it. And as I mentioned earlier, we also have that grouper collar. We'll throw both of these in and have ourselves a little tropical depression snack. All right, so the collars are all cleaned up. They're in the fridge. We're going to get the side going, which is going to be crispy potatoes in a pesto. So I'm going to throw, <laughs> what was that? Ooh, <laughs> that's Madeline back there. We already got her excited. All right, so the potatoes, what I'm going to do, really simple. Start them in cold water, put them on the stove, bring them up to a boil then down to a simmer until they're soft. Then we're gonna drain them, put them in a pot, and we're gonna put them under the broiler with our collars to brown them. And then we're gonna toss them in the pesto that we're gonna make right now. So that is a couple of chunks of Parmesan cheese, a couple of cloves of garlic. Oh, I forgot an important thing. Salt the water with the potatoes. And a little bit of salt in here. So this is not gonna be a traditional pesto. Normally you would use pine nuts. I'm using walnuts. Throw a few of those in. And instead of basil, we are using arugula. So it's gonna have a bit more of a peppery taste. Now the collars, I'm keeping completely simple. We're just doing salt, pepper, and oil because I just want to show you how good they are. In a previous video, I cooked off, uh, I think it was the tile fish. I didn't put any seasoning on it and we couldn't stop pulling pieces off. It was that good without anything on it at all. All right. Now a little bit of olive oil. And traditionally it would be a lemon, but we are going lime. I may need to add just a little bit of oil to that, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. taste that 
That's perfect. That doesn't need anything. And it's just going to be a little bit. We'll throw it in a bowl. When the potatoes are done browning, throw them in the bowl, give it a toss, put it on the plate. Nice and simple. Took out my potatoes, I drained them, tossed them in a little bit of oil, and threw them in this skillet. This skillet's cold. It's just a habit grabbing the uh, towel there. So threw them in this skillet. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna throw these in first. And I hope that everything is gonna come out at the same time. So depending when I post this video, it'll, this will either be a skillet that you get to watch me season that we found over by the boat ramp, or if you've already watched that video, this is the skillet we seasoned in the boat ramp. So it depends on what order you see those videos. So this is our American Red Snapper Collar. He did a nice job filleting that and left a lot of the belly meat on there actually. And then these are our black grouper. So we're gonna salt those both sides. And I have just a little bit of olive oil in this skillet. And we're bringing that up to where you can see the olive oil is just starting to smoke. And the reason why I'm doing this normally, I would just broil them on a rack. But what I want to try to do this time around is to get that skin a little bit crispy. So I'm going in first with my red snapper. Touch more oil. two black grouper will squeeze in there. And now that is going straight into the oven and that's going to be about 15-20 minutes. The black grouper is a little bit thicker that's why I cut it in half and left the uh, American Red Snapper whole because I want that to cook on the same level as the Black Grouper. But I think we can hit it just right in between and get them both perfectly cooked. So into the oven. And we'll be back in about 15 minutes. All right, so my potatoes were not going to brown fast enough along with the collars. So I let the pan heat up in the oven and then I took it out and now I have it on a high heat and I'm just browning them to get them crispy on the outside. My collars, it's been about 20 minutes. And they look absolutely perfect. And like I said, inside there, it's all bone and cartilage. So even if you let them go a little bit over, that's okay, it's not gonna dry them out. The only thing that might dry out is this belly meat that didn't have anything around it, but that's all right. The middle is gonna be perfect and those two black grouper collars are gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna let these rest for a little bit, continue to brown my uh, potatoes, and then I'm gonna mix the potatoes with my pesto. Right, potatoes are done. Nice crispy golden brown. And straight into our pesto. Ooh, the heat off of that just released all of the Parmesan cheese smell and everything. That's pretty good. Now here comes another test. So I let these guys rest. 
is the skillet that we seasoned have nonstick qualities? This is the moment of truth. And I think, I think we did it. <laughs> So I got a little bit of crispness on those skins, which you would get in the broiler also, but I just wanted to try this out to see if I could, could pull it off. Now's the real test, is this one stuck? grab my taste testers no. Ooh, happy, happy. <laughs> all right hang on we'll just let them cool down a little bit oh, oh my god <laughs> oh yes you have to wait till the camera's on sorry <laughs> oh my god oh, whoa you're uh <laughs> you're go, go. Oh. <laughs> go go dang pearl spider-man <laughs> that was downright impressive Bro, you, you have to go. <laughs> wow, those potatoes. All right, so you're getting, is it recording? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so you're getting the American Red Snapper that everyone goes crazy for. I have the Black Reaper. So they have almost no seasoning on them. It's really the potatoes that have all the seasoning because I wanted them to just be plain as is. So taste the collar. Okay. It's gonna be hot. Well, the potatoes are phenomenal, so. Ooh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> mm. mm. Yeah. It stays so juicy. Yeah, definitely. It's so good. It's such a great cut of the fish. Ooh, those potatoes are good. And you get a little the oil and what, pesto and... With the fish. So the only reason there's oil, my pesto broke. Amateur move. I had a little too much oil in there. <laughs> Still Thank, good. Thanks for pointing that out. Oh crap! <laughs> 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 Hold on, can I eat this skin, this crunchy stuff? Yeah. Okay. That's why I tried to put it in the pan to get it. It didn't get as crispy as I wanted it to. It needed a little you more want me to time. Save but... but that doesn't need. Mm. No, not at all. It's really good. Just like when it was a salt, salt and pepper. pepper. Yeah, that's it. So good, so flavorful. All right, we're gonna get back to our not hurricane hurricane activities. <laughs> <laughs> this is our, our mid afternoon snack. We already have breakfast and lunch, and then we'll work on dinner. And uh, if you like this episode, hit like, subscribe, <laughs> share it, <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one.